Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jim Judge, and I'm the director for the Department of Emergency Services. We're going to take you on a virtual tour of the Emergency Operations Center, a facility that is now over 10 years old and opened in April of 2013. We're extremely proud of this facility and has been called one of the finest emergency operations centers in the country, both from the FEMA leadership and the state of Florida leadership. Let's take a look at this outstanding facility. Our first stop along the tour is our Citizen Information Center. This is a vital component of our Emergency Operations Center, both prior to, during, and, and certainly post hurricane, tornado, tropical storm, staffed by county employees that come in here, operate on a small scale as the system is approaching, and we're putting out information on sandbags or power outages or shelter locations. And then as the system moves closer to us, then this room could have 25 individuals operating out of it. Again, providing that critical information directly to the public, answering your questions on anything that may be going on in Volusia County. This is our Office of Community Information, a wonderful division that provides information to the public, both prior to, during, and after a storm. Press releases, power outages, where they can get sandbags. The information is put out there in a variety of sources to keep the public informed. An important part of the operations center is keeping everyone fed. As you can imagine, we can have anywhere from 250 to 275 individuals within the building, and that includes our consolidated communication center. So all the food is provided by our corrections division, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even a midnight stack for those that are working overnight. And our kitchen here is just outstanding to be able to feed that many people for multiple days, again, on a 24-hour basis. This is our media room. This is where we conduct press conferences, both prior to, during, and even post-storm and obviously providing critical information out to the public. Our county council chair, Sheriff Chitwood, our superintendent of schools, and many VIPs providing information to the public. And some of that information may be curfews, school closures, any other protective actions that we've taken, what's the status of our bridges, and having those press conferences a way for us to work with our media outlets to provide that critical information to the public. This is the manager's advisory group room. This is a very important room where very important critical decisions are made on behalf of Volusia County. County manager George Rechtenwald chairs the committee that's made up of all leadership. This is where we're going to decide are we going to go under a local state of emergency? Are we going to close government buildings? Are we going to announce evacuations? There's so many important decisions that get made in this room and then that information gets communicated up to our county council, to our city officials, and then through press conferences. Lots of things take place in this room. We monitor the weather from this room. We conduct conference calls from this room. The most important is when we convene the manager's advisory group. Welcome to the operations room. This is the hub of the Emergency Operations Center. Many activities take place out of this room. Besides our 21 emergency support functions, our universities, our airport, FEMA, DOT, anybody and everybody that supports our response and recovery is gonna be in this room to handle problems, answer questions, and provide information out to the public. I wanna thank everyone for joining me on the tour today for Volusia County Emergency Management. Don't forget, hurricane season's less than a month away, and also don't forget to download the Emergency Management app, a wealth of information to help you get better prepared for the upcoming hurricane season, and we're only a phone call away for hurricane presentations, tours, or anything we can do to be of assistance.